Artificial Intelligence Dr. www.abbcpharma.net slash English. Can you explain to me how is the procedure of implanting a leadless pacemaker specifically the Avir VR from Abbott? GPT-4. The procedure for implanting the Avir VR leadless pacemaker from Abbott involves several key steps, carried out in a specialized setting such as a cardiac catheterization lab or a hybrid operating room. This procedure is minimally invasive compared to traditional pacemaker surgeries and is typically performed under local anesthesia and sedation. Here's a detailed look at how the Avir VR leadless pacemaker is implanted. 1. Pre-procedure preparation. Asterisk patient evaluation asterisk asterisk. Before the procedure, the patient undergoes a thorough evaluation, including medical history, physical examination, and necessary diagnostic tests such as echocardiography and electrocardiograms to assess the heart structure and function. Asterisk medications asterisk asterisk. Patients might need to adjust or stop certain medications, particularly blood thinners, to reduce the risk of bleeding during the procedure. Antibiotics are often administered before the procedure to prevent infection. Asterisk anesthesia asterisk asterisk. Local anesthesia is applied to the insertion site, and sedative medications are administered to keep the patient comfortable and relaxed during the procedure. 2. Vascular access. Asterisk femoral vein access asterisk asterisk. The most common approach for implanting the Avir VR is via the femoral vein. The physician makes a small incision near the groin to access this large vein. Asterisk catheter insertion asterisk asterisk. A catheter, a thin, flexible tube, is inserted through the femoral vein. Using fluoroscopy, a type of real-time X-ray imaging, the catheter is carefully guided through the vascular system to the heart. 3. Device placement. Asterisk navigating to the heart asterisk asterisk. The catheter is advanced to the right ventricle of the heart. Fluoroscopy provides visual guidance to ensure correct positioning within the heart. Asterisk deploying the pacemaker asterisk asterisk. Once the catheter reaches the optimal location in the right ventricle, the Avir VR pacemaker is deployed. The device is small, about the size of a large vitamin capsule, and it is designed to attach directly to the heart muscle. Asterisk securing the device asterisk asterisk. The Avir VR has tines or small anchors that secure it to the myocardial tissue of the ventricle. Proper placement and stability are confirmed through fluoroscopic imaging and electrical testing to ensure that the pacemaker can effectively sense cardiac activity and deliver pacing stimuli as needed. 4. Testing and adjustment. Asterisk functionality tests asterisk asterisk. Once the pacemaker is in place, it is tested to ensure it functions correctly. This includes checking the pacing threshold, the minimum energy required to reliably stimulate the heart, impedance, resistance within the electrical circuit, and sensing capabilities. Asterisk adjusting settings asterisk asterisk. The pacemaker's settings are adjusted based on the patient's specific needs, ensuring that it will provide appropriate pacing support. 5. Closure and post-procedure care. Asterisk removing the catheter asterisk asterisk. After confirming the pacemaker's functionality and secure placement, the catheter is withdrawn, and the incision site is closed, often requiring only a small bandage. Asterisk observation asterisk asterisk. Patients typically remain under observation for a short time to monitor for any immediate complications such as bleeding or changes in heart rhythm. Asterisk follow-up asterisk asterisk. Follow-up appointments are scheduled to monitor the pacemaker's performance and the patient's recovery. Instructions are given regarding activities, medication adjustments, and signs of potential complications. 6. Recovery. Asterisk minimal downtime asterisk asterisk. Recovery from a leadless pacemaker implantation is generally quicker than traditional pacemaker surgery. Most patients can return home the same day or the following day and resume normal activities shortly after, with specific guidance from their healthcare provider. This procedure highlights the advancements in pacemaker technology, offering a less invasive option with potentially fewer complications related to leads and surgical pockets required in traditional pacemaker systems. Claude AI. Certainly, 
The implantation procedure for the Avia VR leadless pacemaker from Abbott is a minimally invasive process that typically takes place in a cardiac catheterization laboratory or an electrophysiology lab. The procedure is performed by a specially trained cardiologist or electrophysiologist and usually takes about an hour. Here's a detailed explanation of the steps involved. 1. Patient preparation. The patient is given local anesthesia and sedation to ensure comfort during the procedure. The patient is connected to monitoring equipment to track heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen levels. The groin area, usually the right side, is cleaned and sterilized to prepare for catheter insertion. 2. Vascular access. The physician makes a small puncture in the femoral vein, typically in the right groin area. A small sheath, a thin, hollow tube, is inserted into the vein to provide access for the delivery catheter. 3. Catheter insertion and navigation. The Avir VR delivery catheter, which contains the leadless pacemaker, is inserted through the sheath and advanced through the femoral vein, up the inferior vena cava, and into the right atrium of the heart. The physician uses fluoroscopic imaging, real-time X-ray, and possibly echocardiography, ultrasound of the heart, to guide the catheter through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. 4. Pacemaker positioning and fixation. Once in the right ventricle, the physician maneuvers the catheter to place the Avir VR device against the ventricular septum, the wall separating the right and left ventricles. The Avir VR has small tines on its surface that help anchor it securely to the heart wall. The physician tests the device's stability by gently pulling back on the catheter to ensure proper fixation. 5. Testing and programming. After confirming the device's stability, the physician tests the Avir VR's sensing and pacing functions to ensure proper operation. The device is then programmed to the patient's specific pacing needs using an external programmer. 6. Catheter removal and closure. Once the Avir VR is successfully implanted and programmed, the delivery catheter is detached from the device and carefully removed from the heart and femoral vein. The sheath is removed, and pressure is applied to the puncture site to achieve hemostasis, stopping blood loss. The small puncture site is then closed with manual pressure, sutures, or a vascular closure device. 7. Post-procedure monitoring and recovery. The patient is taken to a recovery area for monitoring and observation. Vital signs and device function are closely monitored for several hours after the procedure. Most patients can be discharged the same day or the following day, depending on their condition and the physician's assessment. Follow-up appointments are scheduled to monitor the patient's progress, assess the AVI of ER's performance, and make any necessary programming adjustments. The battery life and overall device function will be periodically checked during these visits. It's important to note that while this is a general description of the Avia VR implantation procedure, individual experiences may vary based on the patient's specific condition and the physician's techniques. The implanting physician will provide more detailed information and instructions tailored to each patient's unique situation.